Wait, what? Is Samsung still making a Snapdragon chip for the Galaxy S26? I thought that rumor was long gone. But now, it's back. And it's more interesting than ever. Could Samsung actually beat TSMC at its own game? Or is this just another wild chip experiment doomed to fail? Stick around, because what I'm about to tell you might completely change how you see Samsung, Qualcomm, and the future of flagship smartphones. So, here's the deal. There's been a lot of confusion lately about the Galaxy S26's processor. Will it use Samsung's own Exynos 2600? Or will Qualcomm's Snapdragon chip win again, like we saw in the Galaxy S24 series? Well, it's not that simple. Because now there's a third option on the table, and it's shaking things up. According to new leaks, Samsung might still produce a version of the next Snapdragon chip, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2, using their own 2 nanometer process. Yes, Samsung Foundry, not TSMC. This chip even has a special model number, SM8850S. That S at the end? It could mean Samsung. Now, let's rewind a bit. Earlier reports said this Samsung-made version was cancelled. Why? Because Samsung's 2 nanometer process was supposedly having major yield problems. Low yield means high risk. It means wasted chips, lost money, and missed deadlines. Qualcomm didn't want to take that risk, so they pulled the plug. Or so we thought. But here's the twist. It's not cancelled yet. The latest info from a reliable leaker, Digital Chat Station, says Samsung's version of the chip is still alive. And you won't believe why. It's cheaper. Much cheaper than TSMC's version. Now imagine this. You're a smartphone brand. You're looking at two options. A pricey TSMC-made chip or a Samsung-made chip that's more affordable and might perform just as well. You'd be tempted, right? But there's a catch. Everyone's waiting and watching. If the Samsung-made chip performs without any critical issues, and if the yields improve, then some phone brands might say, you know what, let's use it. And guess what? That could include the Galaxy S26 itself. Now, here's where things get really interesting. If Samsung does use this chip for the S26, will it still carry that Snapdragon for Galaxy branding? We don't know. Because if other brands are using it too, it might not be a Galaxy exclusive anymore. But picture this. Samsung, launching its most powerful phone ever, powered by a Snapdragon chip, made by Samsung itself. That's like designing your own car engine and winning the race against the world's best automaker. It would be a huge win. Not just for Samsung Mobile, but for Samsung Foundry the part of the company that's been struggling to keep up with TSMC. Of course, this is still up in the air. Yields need to improve, performance needs to be solid, and Qualcomm needs to give the green light. But for now, the Samsung-made Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 isn't dead. It's still on the table. So what do you think? Should Samsung take the risk and make its own Snapdragon chip for the Galaxy S26? Or should they leave it to TSMC and play it safe? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'm really curious to see what you all think. And hey, if this chip battle excited you as much as it did me, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss the next tech twist. Because in the world of chips, it's not just about speed. It's about who dares to build it.